one thing that we know about current sources is that we would like them to have high output impedances. And so one way that we can increase the output impedance is to cascode. So here we have two current sources, a bipolar and a MOS version. And of course, uh, in this case, uh, we can set the output current equal to the reference current if M1 equals M2, so on. And same thing for the bipolar current source, I out is equal to I ref if all the transistors are equal. We could of course scale the output current by making M1 and M2 bigger or Q1 and Q2 bigger for instance. And of course our reference current is going through the reference resistor. The primary reason that we're doing this is that we want to achieve a high output resistance. So what's the resistance looking into the cascode? Well we've looked at the cascode before and we know that the output resistance looking in uh, to the collector of the output transistor or the drain of the output transistor in the MOS case is given by and it's the same for the bipolar transistor. Okay, and we've said that if the output resistances are, are approximately equal, we can approximate this just by saying that this is equal to GM times RO squared. So the output resistance is essentially bigger by about an intrinsic gain of a single transistor uh, uh, factor, and uh, that's very huge. So what's the drawback to doing this cascode? Well, let's look at it in terms of the DC. If we do a KVL loop, around these two diode connected junctions back to this point. And we'll do this for both the bipolar transistor and the MOS uh, uh, transistor current source. Let's do this KVL. So here we have a VGS plus a VGS minus a VGS to get back to this point. Normally we'd only need one overdrive voltage across this transistor. However, because of the diode connections, we actually need a bit more. We need a full VGS across this transistor. Across the upper transistor, we only need a VOV. So if we ask what the minimum voltage is at this node, it is a VGS plus a VOV. Now looking at the bipolar case, what is the minimum voltage? It is by the same logic 1 VBE plus 1 VCE sat. Okay, well how bad is this? Well we know uh, for instance, that this is about 0.9 volts in the bipolar transistor case. If we only needed two VOVs, it would be about 0.4 volts. So this is pretty bad. It's a half a volt increase. Let's look in the MOS case. We know that we've been saying that VGS is equal to VOV plus VTH, so let's make that substitution. So we just have two VOV plus a VTH. In the 1.8 volt process that we've been looking at, this corresponds to uh, uh, an assuming our VOV is equal to 0.25 volts. Uh, this would correspond to about 0.9 volts. Now, this is particularly bad because if VDD is 1.8 volts, this is 50% of the supply rail.
Okay, in the next set of slides, we're going to take a look at output swing, uh, or what we're going to call voltage headroom in our amplifiers to see uh, what the implications are for reducing the, the uh, voltage available to them by using these cascodes.